Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video of Mark's Fish Care. And in today's video, I will be doing a quick update on my uh, Fluval Flex 15 saltwater setup. As you see here, probably already, that I have two clownfish. I used to have only one. So the bigger guy is the one that I used to have actually, and this little guy, I uh, bought him a couple weeks ago, but I didn't want to uh, do an update before everything uh, wasn't settled down. And now they're doing very f good uh, at the start actually, both of them, uh, even my uh, previous clownfish, he stopped eating too, and they were both uh, uh, sitting here, and I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it's because my uh, clownfish wasn't used to having a partner and plus uh, the other clownfish um, when uh, I uh, changed the tanks I think they, they were very uh, very stressed so they didn't know their surroundings and clownfish are usually very territorial fish so they like to know their surroundings and when something is getting is, uh, is being switched up they, they don't like it and they get a hard uh, time to get used to new uh, surroundings. So that's why they were sitting around, they weren't eating and nothing for five days. So if you guys have that problem, don't worry. They will start eating eventually, somewhere after maybe two to five days after introducing them to a new setup, they will start eating. But it's so much better to have two clownfish because I even noticed the behavior of my uh, previous clownfish uh, has changed uh, dramatically. And it's just pretty cool to have both of them in the tank. Plus, it's more room for them to swim. They don't need much room to swim, but still, they go around uh, the tank all day long, and they never get tired. So that's pretty cool. And here's my peppermint trim, guys. He's over here relaxing on a rock. He already molted in this tank. I I add iodine, just a little bit of iodine because. I have pistol trim in here and uh, peppermint trim, so it's just uh, easier for them uh, to molt and makes them a little bit more healthy. This guy usually uh, chills over here all the time, all day. He never even uh, leaves this uh, area and it's due to the fact that uh, he's pretty much uh, uh, only comes out at night. So at the day he's not very active and he likes to hide and stay on one spot and he chose this uh, particular uh, spot because it's all the way in the corner and it keeps him safe from all the predator predators even though there's no predators in this tank but but still so he's doing fine too and I uh, very uh, to be honest I like peppermint shrimps a lot even though they're on the uh, well first of all they're on the cheaper side you can get uh, peppermints anywhere from 10 to 20 bucks, depends on your uh, aquarium store. And they look very cool too, and they're, they're actually very active and um, very territorial too. So they're, they're very good uh, shrimp to have in your tank. And as you see over here, I'm not going to point my finger much. Yeah, he just left. This is my new addition to this tank. You can only see his head popping out right now. It's a starry blenny. Starry blennies are actually herbivores completely, so they rely on uh, algae matter in, in my tank. And as you see already on my rock over here, there's a bunch of algae. And, because, and I, was kind of, um, I was kind of worried at first, oh, I was thinking, uh, what will I do? I bought this starry blenny and there's no algae in this tank. But thanks to this uh, light, which is actually designed to... Uh, to grow plants it's very powerful light and if you keep it um, even for 12 hours a day that's what happens after like three days can you guys imagine so i will start keeping it uh, on the night mode more often because i don't want this tank to overgrow with algae but it still looks way better when the rock is covered in algae than it uh, than uh, how it was before so i'm pretty happy with that too but we won't be able to see much of Starry Blenny footage right now because see he already uh, hid in that cave. He's very shy fish and uh, he doesn't really even come out when the light is on. Even when I go down the stairs uh, to my basement and he can see me from far away, he just darts back to his hole. So he's very shy fish, but he's very beautiful. And I also, I'll, I also supplement his diet with... Um, 
uh, some uh, algae wafers. So it's not like uh, I don't give any other food to him because I just don't want him to starve, of course. Sometimes he can nip on uh, some flakes, but he's he doesn't like that for sure. And over here, as you see, there's a bunch of like uh, sand that is uh, sand build up. And that's because uh, I have a pistol trim living in there. As soon as I uh, switched uh, my tanks with my pistol trim, uh, the pistol trim uh, went right under there and he dig himself uh, a lot of uh, exits. You see there's one exit over here. I don't know if you can see yeah, over here, over here, over there, and there's two more in the back. So he never even comes out. Only when I feed the, when I, it's feeding time, he only snatches out of his hull and it's only very fast. Like he darts out, grabs the flake or a pallet or whatever I feed them and he takes it back to his cave. He molted as well, so both of my shrimp molted, so that's a very good sign that everything is doing okay. I have my circulation pump over here. I added this uh, fake ammoni just... Uh, just uh, for the uh, clownfish to feel more secure, but they don't really, they're not very interested in, in it that much. Because it's fake too, I don't know. So it's not a big deal. And I like how this rock sits in here. That's the bigger piece uh, that I had uh, laying around. It just suits this tank way more and there's still uh, room at the top. And look, look who came up, guys. See, that's my star Blanny. I don't want to scare him so you guys can have a better look at him. He's very beautiful fish and he's so funny to watch like he's sitting on the rocks all the time and watching me do stuff and uh, it seems like he's always uh, he's always curious what's going on around the tank but he doesn't have the guts to actually approach uh, all the other fish or anything like that but he's very beautiful fish and there's actually one more uh, thing that I added to the tank not thing I'm sorry uh, crab but I, I don't know where he is right now. It's very hard to find him. It's an emerald crab. The reason I added an emerald crab is because I wanted someone who can get into all of the crevices and be able to uh, find uh, all the uneaten foods and everything like that. So I cannot find him right now because he's probably somewhere in one of the caves. But I saw him yesterday when I was feeding him, so he was okay. So it means that he's good. I just cannot find him, guys, for you right now. But I just want to let you know. And if I will be able to find him, and I will for sure make another video specifically on him. So, and also, I wanted to show you what's going on over here. So if you see here, I added uh, just an air stone to keep my uh, pH a little bit higher and to add some more of, um, aeration to my water. Here's my filtration. And over there in the bottom, you won't see it. I added another carbon media just to keep the water way clear and there's my heater. So in general, this Fluel Flax uh, 15 is a beautiful tank. As you see, the shape of it, of the front is magnificent. And it's super nice uh, tank and I enjoy it. I, even it's better for me to uh, come here and uh, create a video, talk about it more because I can, um, uh, I can have a better shots of my fish because it's way bigger and taller tank than my previous one. And I'm very happy with it and I finally, I finally can say that uh, it's one of the best tanks out of there in my opinion. Even this mesh that they made over here it's super nice and convenient because you always get all the builds up, build ups and all the stuff from the water so you never see it pretty much because of that mesh so i hope you enjoyed this uh this update it wasn't very quick unfortunately <laughs> like i planned to but i wanted to cover all the aspects of this so hope you enjoy my videos guys and please uh keep subscribing to my channel and help me help me grow this channel and if you know any friends anybody who who likes fish please let them know about my channel and hopefully we can uh get this channel growing and uh, making making it even bigger so thank you very much and have a nice day bye